the feeling of loss comes with letting of relationships and I find that the sooner I'm able to accept that this is how I'm feeling, putting a name to the emotion actually, is it, is it relief, is it a sense of loss? Sometimes our life become cluttered with relationships that no longer serve us. Whether it's friendships that are run their course, or other entanglements that drain our energy and spirit, or even digital connections that leave us feeling empty. Join us as Semito and I chat about letting go, about shedding layers of relationships that no longer add value, and making the space available for connections that uplift and inspire. Life is in seasons. Um, sometimes you just have to realize that people come into your lives for a season. Mm -hmm. I am an introvert, so naturally I have very few people in my circle, in my circle of friends or circle of in, uh, influence that that we that I know and they know me very intimately. Yeah. So yeah. Also. People's situation changes, their own season changes, and so even your involvement in their life is not yeah. necessary at some point. That's they true. need other people's input to kind of spice up their life or make the most, be there to bring the most value for them. And um, I used to feel bad that, oh, I'm not going to be in this person's life anymore. But then I think to myself, am I even bringing any value? At that point, at that point, yes. So why am I sad about it? That's just life. And I always think back to when I was growing up, and I bring to mind all the people that I knew, and I realize life just kind of like that's what life is about. Life trims down on your contact with people and bring more people, and yeah, that's true. yeah and yeah, and just being realistic with where I am in life. What do I need? Uh, I'm not. Being, it's not about being selfish, but it's about this is what I need for my life, um, people that I expect to point to my life, people that I can optimally point to yeah. their lives, yeah. Yeah, and just, I like that yeah. <laughs> I yeah. like that word, optimally. Yeah, because there's no, for me, I, I find it difficult of understanding how extroverts are able to just spread themselves. In my mind, I think, you're spreading yourself thin. Do you think I'm an extrovert? <laughs> like, well, you are, you got lots of friends, so I would say, maybe you're an extrovert, but then, I, these days, I find that sometimes people are not from your knowledge of me. Oh, Mama, you're an extrovert, and I think <laughs> you got the energy for it. Personally, I, I think that it's a blessing for you. <laughs> it's a blessing for you. It is a gift. <laughs> it's 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 certainly a grace to have that energy to sit to have so many people in your life that you're connecting with, you're talking to over the phone, you know everything that's going on in their life. For me, it drains me having that many. It drains me like just. I'm just out. <laughs> so yeah, um, and I am, I, you know, I used to wonder why I am like that. That's one thing. I used to wonder why did God create me like that? Yeah. And I always yearned to be like an extrovert. I had friends. I was able to be somewhere and there and everywhere. Everyone can see that. But then over time, I've just come to a place of contentment that God has created me this way. And yeah, and right now I don't desire, there's no desire for me to, to be someone otherwise, else. yeah. Wow. No, no. <laughs> no, I leave room for people to fall off if, yeah. Yeah, if I see that it's not going well. Or it might even be going well, but like you said, I'm not adding value, or this is not an optimal value. I, I let go. I don't drop people, but I let relationships drop off mm -hmm. if they need to drop off. And also, in spite of how wide I spread, <laughs> we have just a limited number of hours mm -hmm. in the day. Of course, there will be the pain of living a relationship as it were, of feeling important, of valued, of adding value. But then I since learned to let go, let, um, let there be the natural reduction that would come in a relationship. It could also be because that person moved on or because the circumstances changed. It's not necessarily from any negative thing. And it's good to recognize that. And and let's go mm -hmm. at such times. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say that um, the feeling of loss comes with letting of relationships. And 
I find that the sooner I'm able to accept that this is how I'm feeling, putting a name to the emotion actually, is it, is it relief? Is it a sense of loss? Relief versus loss, right? When I come to that point, as soon as I'm able to put a name to the feeling and being honest with myself that this is how I feel, Lost, it could be disappointment. That was the other word I was also looking for. Yeah, because it might be time for that person to move on. And I don't think it's time for them to move on in your relationship with them. Yeah. So as soon as I get to that point, I I say it out loud. I say, this is how you know I'm honest with it. Usually with the Holy Spirit, just a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'll just you know talk to God. That I am feeling this way, and I. Oh, I've also learned to practice self-compassion that mm, I am uh, recognizing that I'm human and making making allowance for myself to make mistakes to to feel pain mm -hmm. and tell myself that it's okay I'm human to have feel to be feeling this way yeah because <clears throat> sometimes we expect other people to feel bad about situation but we kind of, or personally, I, I can easily um, be blind to my own need for saying, for feeling, for I feeling, like yeah, feel, feel yeah, yeah, and go through the process and accept it. Uh, and I tell myself, oh, I don't need to feel this way. What is there? I don't need to feel this way. Oh, it's, it's not a necessary feeling you have to feel. You, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't be feeling jealous. Why should I be feeling jealous? You are ch God's child. Mm. God, like God has said, yeah. So I, say, I feel jealous I about I feel jealous, you. God, yeah. I feel jealous about As you. As for God's help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until the opportunity to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, daughter. <laughs> thank you for all that I have been doing for me and for all of us who have been on this channel. You will hear her say, Mama Lubusola said this i'm doing this for my mother uh, <laughs> yeah i'm grateful and i'm sure people in our community are grateful to semedetto for all that she shares with us in this space so you show some love click like on this video if you like it share with others and if you haven't subscribed this is a good time to do so just click on that button subscribe and it's done have you had such experiences of relationships trimming or pruning down on relationships. Do share with us how this has been for you. You can share your experiences in the comment section. And we'll see you again in the next video. Thank you. Bye.